Oh, goodness. I feel like I'm about to fall over on this stool. Everything's just a little wobbly today. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to Saint Stories. Have you ever heard the phrase, patience is a virtue? I am happy to confirm today that the rumors are true. Patience is in fact a virtue. It's a virtue that many great saints have embodied and one that I am always striving to grow in. There's one saint in particular that I think can inspire both you and I in this constant pursuit of purification, and that is St. Francis de Sales. Honestly, I'm not sure what I've been doing with my life up until this point, not making a video on Francis de Sales because he is so dear and so wonderful. On paper, he's got the perfect formula for being a saint in the 1500s. He was born into a noble family. He attended the University of Paris. So, so far he's basically Thomas Aquinas. He lived during the Protestant Reformation. He he wanted to be a priest, but kept it a secret from his parents, etc., etc. All these things kind of cook up the perfect recipe for a virtuous life. And we can draw similarities to the lives of many other saints. But it really was St. Francis's heart for the Lord that really guided his life and was a catalyst to virtue, especially the virtue of patience. During the Protestant Reformation, St. Francis de Sales sought out to bring Calvinists back to the Catholic faith. And the only way he could do that was something that we like to call the long game. He began by going door to door, hoping people would open up and he could share his heart and talk to them about the Catholic faith. But when that didn't work and people wouldn't even open their doors to him, he had to get creative. So because doors weren't opening, he decided to go under the doors. He made pamphlets that talked about the truth of the church, about Catholicism, and would slide them under the doors of his neighbors so they could be brought back in to the truth. Another way he sought to evangelize was through through children. He began to notice that parents and adults wouldn't talk to him or give him the time of day or engage him in conversation. So he began talking to their children, playing games with them, being kind to them, etc. And when the parents observed his kindness and his holiness, they were more drawn to him and began to trust him. And from there, they cultivated these ongoing relationships and friendships where St. Francis could share the gospel. And by the time he was finished, it was estimated that St. Francis de Sales converted over 40 thousand people, which is literally insane. He was able to do so because of his continuous yes to the Lord. He was able to do so because of his continual yes to the Lord. His constant discernment of what he could do in his current state of life to bring the gospel to other people, to spread the good news of Jesus. And if he were here today making this video, I am sure that he would encourage you to do the same. Wherever it is in your life where you feel discouraged, maybe by your lack of virtue or ability, or a task that seems too big or too overwhelming, ask the Lord to grant you patience in your heart and confidence to do his will. We may not always see immediate improvements or results or encouragement. In fact, we may feel the opposite. We may be discouraged by our own abilities, but like St. Francis, all we have to do is the next right thing. We have to stay in contact with the Lord to continue to trust him that he is guiding us, that he is sustaining us, that it is his well and not our own. As St. Francis de Sales would say, What a beautiful gift it is to begin anew every day. And that is the life of virtue. Surrendering our faults, surrendering our discouragement, surrendering our own abilities and how incapable we are <laughs> to the Lord and allowing him to do something beautiful. St. Francis could have never converted even three people by his own means, but by the Lord's generosity, he converted tens of thousands. So let's trust today that the same Lord who did that hundreds of years ago is doing the same for us, that he has great plans for you and desires to make you and I a saint. St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. See you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and check out blessedishe.net for more ways to get connected. See you next time.